Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, happy Friday. We made it through another week of mothering. Yay! <laughs> so, good morning. Good morning to each of you. Good afternoon to some of you. Good evening to others of you. I am so honored to be here with you this morning. So, <sighs> who is, hello Allison, who is ruling our inner world? So a lot of, uh, a lot of people, including myself, didn't know what I did for a long time. I uh, have called myself so many different things, but what I really love to do and what I really feel that I'm called to do is help women get in touch with their inner little girl. So I've been doing this practice for a few years now, and I actually probably did this practice even before that, but didn't understand really what I was doing. Um, to give you a little bit of a background story of me for just a moment, my dad actually had multiple personalities. Um, so I grew up in uh, a slightly dysfunctional home, but from all outward appearances, it actually appeared very normal. Um, and I didn't actually know what was going on with my dad. Uh, I was the youngest of three kids, and everybody kind of forgot to tell me. They thought I just knew. <laughs> but when I went into college and actually went to get my psychology degree, um, and I was talking with uh, somebody in my family, they said, oh yeah, dad actually has that, as I was learning about multiple personalities. And I went, that's really interesting. It seems like this is so familiar to me. <laughs> um, and so I went into, and I actually got a psychology degree, um, and then I went into uh, massage therapy and other healing modalities. And because I saw that psychology actually didn't have all the answers. Um, and then I went into massage therapy, and the body didn't have all the answers. And then I started doing more spiritual practices and spiritual modalities of healing. And that is where all three, the psychology, the body, and the spiritual aspects, all three of them had to, to interlace um, for me to really create profound healing and movement in my own life. And for me to get that really into the inspired action and connection again. So just a little bit of a background. And I'm sharing this because... I realize through all the work that I've done that we all have some multiple personalities. If you've ever noticed that you act a little bit differently depending on who you're with. Sometimes when you end up being in front of your parents, you end up acting a little bit differently. You get like revert back to who you were as a child. Um, and then, you know, sometimes with your, when you're with certain people, you'll feel really small. Or sometimes when you're with your kids, you'll feel really powerful. And sometimes that controlling aspect comes out. So as I was going through my own journey of working and creating my own um, specific modality, I found that we all have these inner children. And yes, while the inner children movement went on back in the 80s and it was very big, I have found a very special connection with it. Um, and it is slightly different than what happened, I think, back in the 80s when all of that first started. So I wanted to share with each of you how to get in touch and why I'm bringing this up. Um, I continuously and consistently go deep. At least once a week, I work on an inner child or uh, a money monster or some sort of inner mindset kind of dragon or aspect of my life. And I try to do it even more than that. So uh, last night I could feel some blocks coming up within my life. I could feel that I had, I had that momentum and the big receiving that I received earlier on in the week and then it kind of dwindled and I went, nope, I'm losing something. I'm losing the trust. I'm losing some peace and it needs to come back. And I feel like this is an awareness and if everything that we do, if you start doing the uh, rhythm worksheets of, of being aware of your rhythm and you'll start to be aware of when you're feeling and you're losing that kind of passion in your life. So as I felt that that was depleting, I went, oh, okay, I get to go deep again. And sometimes I dread it. Sometimes it's difficult to keep continuously go deeper and deeper. Sometimes I feel like, man, 
is this work ever going to be done? But no, it's not. And that's the amazing thing. We, we can continue to learn and grow and create more magic and transformation in our lives. It doesn't ever have to end. So I went deep last night and I met a new little girl. Um, she's my seven-year-old self and I had never actually met her before. Um, she was very on the outside, very rude, very demanding, very, um, don't tell me what to do. Um, and yet on the inside, she felt so undeserving. She felt like she didn't matter. She felt like, um, everybody else's needs were more important than hers. She felt like, um, no matter what she did, she would never get the love and attention that she actually wanted and desired. So why even try? And I share this with you because as these layers keep unfolding for myself, I want you to know that as uh, you grow deeper and as you go deeper, these layers will continuously unfold for you. Um, hey, Erin. So um, I'm just sharing a little bit about this, the little girl that I met last night within me, my own little inner girl who has been ruling my life for for years now. And so, yes, we are ruled by these inner children. And uh, for years, a four-year-old has been running my business. Finally took care of that, gave her a role that is acceptable for her. And now I'm moving on to a seven-year-old who's um, often very uh, kind of snarky and rude and mean. And I find it really exciting to dive in with these little children. And so what we do is first we ask if there's any uh, inner children or anybody inside of us that would like to step forward and communicate with us. Um, I like to visualize in my mind's eye a little girl standing in front of me. Um, and then I find out how old they are. I find out what their feelings are. And I just connect with them in a way that they feel heard and I let them share. So, yes, it seems very obtuse and obscure, but it's very impactful. And it actually helps us see all the things that we actually don't want to be dealing with. Because we have so many pieces of us that are holding certain things, certain traumas, certain memories, that we don't acknowledge all of them all the time. So this is a way to acknowledge some of the more difficult memories, process them, and heal them. So, after you introduce yourself to your little girl and you begin to have a conversation with her you find out kind of how she's been sabotaging herself unknowingly just trying to protect you and her and then from there you ask her if she's willing to do something differently so this is actually the same process that I walk my clients through and I'm able to really for some reason, I've been given the ability to really pull out specific uh, inner children. It's like I can see them. And it was interesting when uh, my business was called Magical Mothering. I realized that the magical mothering aspect that I do one-on-one -on -one with people is I am able to see their inner children and help them mother and nurture their own inner children. So this work is not just for mothers, but it's for all women. Um, and it works well for men too. I just prefer to work with women. So after you get in touch with her, you're going to ask her if she'd be willing to help you in a different way. And this is where we kind of, we look at what she's been doing, and this sometimes can be the tricky part when you're doing it on your own, which is why I suggest women um, have some sort of support in this so that somebody from the outside can help shift it. So when you're looking at what she has been doing, you're going to take that and you're going to reverse it so that she can do it in a way that's helpful. So... Uh, for example, last night, my, my rude little controlling seven-year-old, I gave her a magical lasso. And she is to lasso my tongue, my physical tongue, and stop me from speaking anything that is rude or harsh or scary or induces fear or is controlling to anybody in my life and especially my children. So now she has taken her own... Uh, demons, so to say, and she now has a tool to help me uh, keep myself on track so that I'm not being controlled by something that I no longer want to have in my life. So let me know if this is making sense. Uh, thumbs up 
If you're going like, what? I don't understand. Please uh, put that in the comments. If this uh, is helpful and you're going, whoa, I never thought about anything like that, please thumbs up, hearts, do something so that I can know that you're uh, understanding what I'm saying. Um, so uh, when, when we go deeper and we start looking at our inner selves and we start acknowledging that there's something going on that possibly um, is actually ruling our lives, actually ruling our lives. I, when I realized that I had mindsets and I had, uh, when we realize that there's mindsets and there's inner work and there's inner children and there's so many aspects to our inner lives that are ruling our outer lives, it becomes, it can become a really fun game. And the game is not always easy to play, and the game is not always um, fun, but when we actually do the work, the peace and the joy and the beingness, the stillness in our minds are far better than anything that can come from anything else. Um, so. I wanted to share this with you because I want us to be, just acknowledge, check in with yourself over the weekend. If you can take an, an hour to create some space, if you can uh, create, you know, some space for yourself to kind of just toy with this. See if any inner children come up, um, see what they have to say, uh, play with this aspect of knowing that there are these inner parts of us that are very hidden. Um, and often unacknowledged, and they're screaming at us from the top of their voices sometimes, just longing to be acknowledged. So uh, I would love to hear about anybody's experience, if they are able to do this. If you need help with this, this is exactly why I have one-on-one -on -one support. Um, if you go to the MagicalMothering.com website in the Work with Stephanie tab, um, this is what we do. We dive deep, we go into your inner children, we heal them, we shift so that we can actually create a foundation that feels amazing. So I am very much looking forward to hearing your experiences and um, thank you so much for just being in this space. Um, if you have something that comes up that is really kind of I don't know how to deal with this, please message me and we'll set up a session and that way we can go through and uh, work those things out. Um, I will do, you know, single session kind of things for this if you want to just get a, um, if you want to try it out. If you're going, I have no idea what you're talking about and you want to see what this inner work can actually look like and what it can feel like, I would love to have a session with you. You can go and book that um, and we'll get that all set up. So. Let me know how it goes, and please, please, please enjoy this magical Friday, and um, I hope you all have a blessed and so wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you again back here for Magical Mothering Motivation on Monday. All right, goodbye, everybody.